you know, I really hate this getting the older shit. Kids are at grandma's today. I usually have them do this shit. Ha ha! Plugged in. Sucks when it's an all day job just to fucking plug your phone in because the eyeballs are going bad. But anyway, cut a quick part of your video there, ref. I mean, I, straight up, honestly, I had to turn it off. I'm sorry, dude. Um, you, you, you just, you're, you're, you, you don't really have, you really, bah! I'm stumbling here. You, you really haven't watched that video, have you? I mean, I explained everything in that. The person left. And you know who I'm talking about, Ref. I know you do. This is why I'm not mentioning the person's name. They're not here anymore. So let them be where they're at. Um, that's simple. Um, I know you know who it is. I mean, everybody else seems to that I've spoken to. I spoke with Max. I spoke with Rombie. I spoke with Uncle. Um, and they always brought the name up first. So I know they know who it is. But no, it makes perfect sense. They're no longer here. It takes away the power. Do you understand that, Ref? I mean, are, are you really... Maybe you're not watching all my video. I mean, that's possible. Because I didn't watch all yours. But, uh... So it makes perfect sense, Ref. And I guess my biggest question is, is why doesn't Uncle come up with what you're saying? You're, you're trying to find the answers, uh... Max is backing you up, and that's fine. But why isn't Uncle coming up with these things? Why can't he answer these questions? I mean, Tasco never moved. We already knew that. We already went through that one. In fact, you know the th funny thing about Tasco being doxxed? Did anybody ever realize that he managed those apartments that he lived in? Did anybody ever know that? It's a failed docs in my mind. I mean, we got the right apartment number, but we don't even know what it is. Jesus Christ, it says right on it. Manager. <laughs> Spent a lot of time there. Um, I mean, if Uncle would have gone by Julie's Hot Dogs, which is now Hot Dog Heaven, by the way, um, you would have thought he would have stopped by to see that it said manager and maybe try to get him fired or something. But just saying. I mean, I know Uncle went through the point of finding out who my landlord was, because he put it up on top of his channel one time. But I'm digressing, aren't I? I'm going back to when Tasco got doxxed. Yeah. If anybody would have come to his door, people would have known he was the manager of those apartments. Come now, Ref. Think about it. It makes perfect sense. And maybe you should watch the doxing truth a little bit closer. But I do want to know why Uncle is not answering any of these. He never wanted to take me up on the challenge to tell the truth. And he's never answered it. He, in fact, he stopped commenting and everything for about a week afterwards. He did try to call me on Skype, and I can show you that, if need be. I can screen count the missed calls on the day that video was put up. But Anyway, I guess the only other thing I can say that's kind of funny, too, is, you know, <clears throat> privacy thing didn't work. Okay, so you flag the video down with the uh, cease and assist letter. Of course, it's back up on owner of the tubes. I told people I'd do that. But, uh, you know, when, when you flag it for bullying and harassing, whoever's doing it, whether it be Uncle or you or Max or whoever, um, it really makes Uncle look like a wuss. That the little guy that in California is bullying the big guy. Which really is funny because that's why nothing ever came of the cease and desist letter because detectives in Santa Maria and Grass Valley, Plymouth. Taxpayer dollars paid them to do this, to watch YouTube and figure out that this is just what these people do. And I personally think that uh, Plymouth was probably the most surprised that big six foot whatever he is and however many pounds he is guy was filing a complaint against the Two little guys in Cali. But that was the conclusion that they'd come to. That this is just what these people do. So. Maybe that explains it a little bit more. Ref. Said person left. Said person is no longer on here. Said person came back for a short period of time. But the power was already gone. And said person left one more time. Because didn't want the problems. 
of more postcards being sent and Christmas cards and stuff like this. And um, no one ever came to Tasker's door or, hey, <laughs> the fact that he was the manager of those apartments would have come to light. It was a good job for him. Got to where he could save some money and buy himself a kick-ass fucking house. Messenger Larry living life one day at a time. Whooping his ass while he's at it. Oh, and Riley, just in case you see, yeah, that's mastic on my hands. I wore my Riley, the roofer shirt. So everybody at uh, the church in Lompoc that I was working on knows that I was licensed. Really hope that shit don't leak, Riley, because I don't want him coming back on you. <laughs> Peace, people. Oh, Sorry, forgot to add one thing. And I do believe I said that in the Doxing Truth too, Ref. The problem with this is there's two accounts that could have shown the conversation between Uncle and Tasco. And unfortunately, both of them were terminated. And that was Tasco Public Enemy and um, the original Uncle from Hell. I really thought when you know, sixes and sevens were used as passwords and you're able to get into the account and you can switch it to a different email that uh, it wouldn't have been terminated with the other accounts he had on his original email, but oops, live and learn.